Alright guys, in today's video I have my Galaxy S3 right here and I'm going to show you guys today how to install a custom ROM using Twerp Recovery. And the ROM we're going to show you guys how to install is called Rage ROM, which is made by a real cool developer, a uh, guy I talk to all the time, his name is Hicks, and um, goes with a couple other names too, but that's the name I know him by. Um, so. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this. Let me go ahead and show you guys a little bit of some prerequisites for this thing. Um, you are going to uh, want to be, let's see here, I, I would say you should probably be on this Android version on your Galaxy S3, um, which is 4.1.2. This is the Verizon version, obviously, right here, which is the SCH-I535. You are going to want to have root permission with super sue or super user right there super sue right there and obviously have a custom recovery installed like torp recovery and an unlocked bootloader as well if you guys don't have these prerequisites i have videos on all of all of that stuff on how to do it so please check out me out right here you can see some of that stuff for videos at root junkie right here above my thumb or you can just check me out on my youtube channel it's listed on both so so now that we've got those two things, the last thing you're going to want to do is uh, make sure that the ROM is on your SD card. So I'm going to show you where this one's at for me. It's on my external SD under ROMs. Right there it is, Touch Rage is what this is. Touch Rage ROM for the Galaxy S3. So that's where it is, I know where it's at. So we need to get into custom recovery, torp recovery. Um, I like to use an application called, uh, right here, Goo Manager. And you can use it to install recovery um, if you have a rooted, rooted device that's unlocked. Or you can just tell it to reboot into recovery right there. But just so you guys know how to do this in case you haven't seen it before, I'm going to show you guys how to get into recovery in case you mess something up or um, you break your device for some reason. You should be able to always get into recovery this way. So I'm going to show you guys that. So what you're going to do is say your device is powered off shut down or it's not working you can pull the battery and get to a powered off state however you need to do it uh, in case you're boot looping or something like that um, and then what you're gonna actually do is you're gonna hold your home button on here at the bottom you're gonna hold your volume up button on the side and your power button so if, hold these two first see if I can do this without pushing things over and then hold your power button and it should flash and once it flashes here let go of your power button and keep holding the other two the home and the volume up and keep holding them and you should boot into recovery and it if you have stock recovery installed it'll boot into stock recovery you can let go of them now if you have torp recovery like i do it'll boot into torp recovery so if you ever mess something up you can always get into recovery again once you have recovery installed and fix it first thing you want to do two things right here make sure you have good battery life I have 82 percent it should be plenty for this I really wouldn't go any lower than that um, and then the next thing you're gonna want to do is go ahead and make a Nandroid backup which is this button right here and the reason you do that is if the install fails something goes bad in it you can always restore that and you'll be back to where you were before you tried to flash the ROM so we're gonna go ahead and do that we're gonna back up all of my stuff right there uh, my my backup location is to my micro SD card um, which is the one you put in the back of the phone. I'm going to set a nickname for this, which we're going to call 4.1.2 stock. Whoops. Sorry, messed things up there, guys. 4.2 stock. And then, okay, so once you have your Nick Wing, you'll see your nickname right here is listed right up there on the top. So you have that, and then you just swipe across, and it's going to do a, an Android backup. Um, give this thing about 10 minutes. Uh, it's going to run through the backup process, and then we'll come back to it. And we'll finish uh, the install of this RAID ROM. All right here, so our backup is now complete, and we can unlock twerp it actually locks there for you and you can just reboot system here um, if you just wanted to make a backup but we want to flash around so we're going to back out there with the back button there 
Um, and just so you guys know, this is going to be pretty much standard for almost every ROM you flash. This is going to be your process. So this is just pretty much a generic of flashing ROMs. Unless the form you download the, the ROM from says to do something differently, this is what you're going to be doing. Um, so you made your an Android backup. We're going to go ahead and hit wipes. And in Torp Recovery, all you got to do is swipe it one time and it wipes everything that needs to be wiped. Your cache, your Dovic, and your data. So maybe even your system, I don't remember what it has all totally for the wipes, but that's all you got to do. And then um, we can go back and go to installs. Alright, and it actually opened up my micro SD card right here, which is really easy. And I put my, ROM, my, uh, my uh, touch rage ROM in my ROMs folder. And there it is, touch rage version 1.4 zip. And you're going to select it and then all you have to do to install this is go ahead and swipe across um, this actually does include everything because it's based on the ota update basically or the ota version of jelly bean 4.1.2 so you don't have to in flash google applications like you would on uh, maybe cm or aosp or something like that um, so like i said just read whatever the form says you need to flash this this one you just got to flash just the rom so when this thing goes ahead and finishes the install here um basically all we're going to reboot and we'll check out this uh we'll check out this rom so just give this time probably take about five minutes and we'll get back to it Okay, well that was really quick. That was about uh, two minutes probably to uh, install this. So again, you can see Torp Recovery kind of locked itself. Um, it's got screen savers and then you can unlock it when you push the button to get the screen saver off. So it's kind of nice that it doesn't keep your screen on constantly while you're trying to flash things so your battery doesn't die too badly while you're doing it. Um, you can go ahead right here and you can hit wipe, cache, and Delvic if you want and it'll do that. Um, you shouldn't have to. So basically all we're going to do from here, we have our backup made, everything's good to go. We're going to go ahead and reboot system and uh, should be able to check out check out this ROM here so reboot system says fix permissions reboot permissions appear to have be lost fix root permission now sure why not let's fix it um, go ahead and swipe and you should be good to go so it's it's rebooting everything should be good here Let's uh, let this thing boot up, see if he's got a different boot animation on it. Um, most devs like to put their own little touch on it. But it looks like... Okay, so it is a little different. Before it had that uh, 4G LTE on it, uh, on boot up. Uh, this is just a Samsung, no uh, audio on it. So, first boot up on installing any ROM can take up to 10 minutes of this screen. So be really patient with it. It shouldn't take that long. This is a really fast uh, phone, but it can take up to that long. If it doesn't work after that, I would go ahead and go back into recovery and do restore your Android you just made, your backup, um, and then see try to see if you can figure out what you did wrong. Um, but otherwise, let's just let this boot up. I'm going to go through some settings, and then I'm going to show you guys around. Alright guys, I just wanted to show you this. I was in the process of setting up the phone and I see that it gives you two options. You can use Apex Launcher as your default launcher or you can use TouchWiz. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys TouchWiz for right now. So we're going to select that and we're going to select just one so you can always change it. Um, but I'm just going to boot it up with TouchWiz installed. And here you go. So this is your first custom ROM. You can see how this guy's got it set up. Let's see if this thing comes with anything special in it. Um, so we're going to go to App Drawer, and you do have Apex Launcher built into it. Uh, DSP Manager is also built into it, which is very nice. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Um, there's Super Sue right there. Let's see what else it comes with. Anything else that's different? Now it looks like those are your main two things. The basic thing with um, this ROM is because it is based on stock uh, Galaxy S3 um, is that what you're going to see that's really different about it is its performance more than anything else. Uh, your look obviously is the same. Most of your applications are going to be pretty much exactly the same. Um, but you do have root and you're going to see performance tweaks on it is, is the main 
the main thing. Let's see what we got here. So here you go. Here's some settings. This is where some of the, like I guess you might mean by performance controls. So you got ROM controls right here and all kinds of little cool customizations. So you can do like status bar colors, um, clock style. So let's go ahead and do center clock and uh, your clock's in the center up there on top. Um, so this is really the main difference besides it being, it looks just like stock, um, but you can change some things up. So here we got battery icons. Let's go um, blue glass, let's see what that is. Oh, that's all right. Um, you can you can change some colors. Choose battery icons. What else is be good in here? CM. There you go. You can go like that. I mean, you you can change all. It's the customization. All of this stuff right through here. All these ROM controls is what makes this this um this ROM really fun. Uh, the rest of these settings are pretty much standard. It looks like. Yeah, pretty standard. Let's just go ahead and check out, make sure, yeah. So you are running, like I said, it's the Verizon version of the Galaxy S3, 4.1.2. And it's pretty much stock with added ROM controls is, is your biggest thing. And all these fun little customizations and easy things that you guys can change on here um, to really customize the look and feel of this thing. Um, very, very simply. So that's probably the best thing I would say probably about this, uh, about this device. Um, in this ROM, I should say. So there you go, guys. That is how to install a ROM um, using Torp Recovery on the Galaxy S3. ROM being uh, Touch Rage, which is a Rage ROM. And uh, there you go. That's my walkthrough on it. That's how to do it. Should be standard, like the same principle and concepts for any ROM you guys install. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, Touch Rage ROM link in the video description down below. Hope you guys liked this. Hope it was helpful for you. Um, as always, please check me out right up here at rootjunkie.com. You can follow me at Facebook or Twitter over there. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.